Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it after the show right now. Let's just get into the show. It has been a spell since we've done an episode. I'm sorry about that. I missed you. I was uh, lost direction a little bit, but I think we're back on track. What I want to do is uh, get going again uh, with the viewer questions. We've really kind of made this a viewer questions about people growing with Nectar for the Gods. Specific questions about how to grow with Nectar for the Gods and some other stuff, you know, about growing in general. But I still want to do that. I still want your questions in the comments. But I'd also like to know what you think we could do as a community, you know, and then maybe, you know, new people coming in as well. What we can do to improve the show to make it more useful to you, maybe about the bigger picture of growing, uh, maybe about specifics of how-to videos, things like that. What do you want from me? What can I do for you to help you grow better with Nectar for the Gods Nutrients? Uh, we're a little light on episodes, obviously, a little light on questions because we haven't been doing the show in a while. So what I did is I dug back through some of the older viewer questions episodes to find some, some good golden oldie questions that I, we may not have covered in the past, may have, but uh, some good stuff. And I've got a few episodes like that to kind of prime the pump, get your juices flowing, get your thoughts going. So I'm going to do some greatest hits questions and put those on there please comments let's get after it. let's get going again the one today is about growing autoflowers and specifically bloom the bloom phase and growing autoflowers and scott and i talked quite a bit about this it's like a four or five minute answer he had that was very comprehensive uh i thought it was very interesting especially if you're growing autoflowers but for any kind of uh, you know growing some that sort of thing so i'd like you to watch the clip and I'll talk to you after. I am running uh, Colorado Cookies Autoflowers indoors using an amended Roman regimen. I really want to bring out the sweet terpenes on this one and plan to go heavy on Herc, Aphrodite, Persephone, and Pegasus accordingly. My question is when should I really start pushing hard? Being autoflowers, the window of manipulation can be short. Should I fire yeah. away at first sign of flower? Wait until I see buds forming? What are your thoughts? You got some other details here, but uh, I love the products, love the show. So. Can I ask you, just, why wouldn't you push in veg, even with these flavorful things? Am I wrong about that? What would you... Well, which, I mean, when it comes to flower production and that, when that plant is developing the flower sites mm -hmm. and the flower bodies, that's when it's also, in, you know, producing the oils, creating trichomes, and then that's where the terpenes are all going to be coming from. So mm -hmm. trying to promote all those terpenes in the early stages usually equal to overfed plants. So you're uh, sitting there pushing hard in veg and the plant's an auto flower and it's only a foot tall and it's, you know, 21 days in, you, you, sure. can, just, you can way overfeed them. So there's no point in pushing early until you start to see the flower sites. Okay. And also about pushing through not just volume, but pushing through diversity, you would also... As far as would you run a simpler regimen at the start of the, at the, of the veg oh, than you would... Yeah. So... So I'm totally wrong about that, which well, is not necessarily because I mean I know many rooms you walk in, even in the bedroom, you're like, yeah. wow, I can already smell the oils and the terpenes oh, happening. Yeah. But you're not going to enhance them at that stage because sure. the plant is focusing on cell development, tissue growth, canopy. Man, I mean it's it's getting big. It's developing. Yeah, it's yeah. prepping itself. But you know the the trick with auto flowers is. You know, for us photo periods, we know that on the fifth, we're switching them over. We yeah. have, you know, seven to ten days before we see sight of flowers. Mm -hmm. Then we have X amount of time before the end. It helps us work on, I'm going to start pushing that week before I go into bloom. Sure. Do you know about when yeah, it's going to be? because I'm turning the clock yeah. down to 12 and 12. <laughs> yeah. Um, so knowing that, I can start manipulating that flower development earlier. But with autos, I usually encourage people... Unless you've grown the same auto and you know no every single day what's yeah. going to happen, you know, I would like to start it in about, you know, four or five days before you know they're going to start to uh -huh. show flowers. Um, but if you're new to the show, you're new to autos and you're new to our line, I would wait till you see the first sign of female flower development. Then I'd start manipulating your terpene enhancements mm -hmm. to kind of guide that plant to, to taste the way you would like for it to taste. In his case, because he's doing Afro Herc, uh, Pegasus, and what's the other one he wants to push? Uh, Persephone. Persephone, yeah. So, you know, I would be doing Herc and Afro like my normal amounts all the way into the first, second week of flower development. Uh -huh. Pegasus, 
you know, I really focus on Pegasus for the fruity terpenes for only two to three weeks in the middle yeah. of the flowering cycle because of that nitrogen protein that's in there. I don't want to be pour, pushing that in in the last three weeks, two to three weeks of flowering because it's going to keep that plant green without giving it the excuse to have fall or start fading. So I, I really focus just on the middle of the flowering cycle, uh -huh. a visual flower cycle to be pushing the Pegasus and pushing the Pegasus, you know, that's five to 10 mils. You know, about yeah, 10 not, mils, yeah. you're going, you're, you're giving it a veg food basically. So sticking to a, a five to 10 to just keep maintaining that terpene profile, but then cutting it out with two to three weeks left in the cycle. So within reason, too soon is better than too late. Oh yeah, well too late, you just keep them, yeah. you, you'll taste it, not in a good way, because yeah. your plant doesn't have the ability to break it all down, convert it all to sugars, it will be, you know, residual left in your plant if you start, if you're feeding really heavy in the last week. So, better too soon than too late, but better too little than too much, to where you would start reversifying sooner, but you would not maybe push as hard as if you weren't sure, like you do a little, two mils or... Yeah, yeah, and I would definitely manipulate it and play with the, the uh -huh. levels. I mean, the autoflowers are a trick. I mean, when it's pushing, uh -huh. you know, it, it's hard to push in a three-gallon pot. Yeah. A lot of these guys will do three to fives or keep their root balls pretty small because it's it's a start-to-finish plan. Uh -huh. Where, you know, a photo guy is being able to go from a one to a three to a seven to a 15, it gives them a lot more ability to kind of push with more volume and more... Uh, strength because they have a way bigger medium to absorb that shock of the nutrients where a three gallon pot you're better off just feeding them way more often like my pushing a three gallon auto plant would be try to feed them more often during the week the same recipe versus trying to feed them more of a recipe less often um would you say in your experience with auto flowers that there's enough consistency among a specific genetic that you can learn over multiple runs and that that's oh, kind of a marathon more so than a sprint. I mean, if you it. trust, yeah, I think if you've got a good breeder, you've got a good genetic and you've run it three to four rounds, mm. you, you've got a feel for, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, like some guys with Scooby snacks, they know right. exactly, oh, when I see this, this is when I do that. So that's kind of, I've done it for four years. That's the game of it with the autoflower yeah. is that if you're learning. popping new seeds every single run and you're getting a new breeder, but it's all the same genetics, you're going to have a different variant sure. every single time and a different hurdle and challenge you got to face so you know ideally if you really want to dial something in you pick the genetic you love yeah. or a handful of them focus on them and stick with them okay well, what do you think of that informative entertaining helpful let me know in the comments also viewer questions viewer suggestions anything you think about how we can make it a better show throw it in the comments down there and we'll talk about it i love you i'll see you tomorrow the ocg fam show it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.